Good Saturday afternoon to everyone from Mala's Kitchen to yours. On today's menu is cabbage soup. Voila. In the pot here, I have, I'm sauteing actually, some golden onions with some crushed pepper flakes, a little bit of cayenne, some oregano, as well as some parsley. I'm having all the flavors married together here in the pot. And next, in comes the garlic, finely chopped. And in went the garlic. I'm going to saute back a bit so these flavors marry together. After this, in a few moments, I'm going to add the celery carrots and then the bell pepper. In went the celery. I just marry that all together. And next will be the carrots. And the carrots are in. We're going to saute this entire lovely marrow vegetables together. Oh, if you could only smell the kitchen. The aromatics are unbelievable. You can smell the garlic. You can smell those onions. And that celery. My goodness. Next will be the green peppers. And after the cabbage. In goes my green bell peppers. Look at that. How lovely and what a colorful pot this is. Look at that. How amazing is that? It smells absolutely wonderful. Next would be my cabbage. And I used a three quarters of a head of cabbage. Next, I'm going to add about two cups of diced tomatoes, and of course, two tarusos is what I use. So, in went those diced tomatoes, and oh my, what a colorful pot we have. Look at those veggies, how awesome. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smells ah. Amazing. Next will be the lovely cabbage. And in went the cabbage in the pot to play with the rest of the kitties in the bath. Now we wouldn't want Mr. Cabbage to feel a bit jealous now, would we? Just gonna give this a little zhuzh, a little stir, mix it all up together get those flavors all melding together. And I'm going to add about eight cups of chicken stock. And of course, this is the point where you can add salt to taste. Or you can choose not to. If you're doing a sodium-free or a less so low sodium diet, all depends on you. There we have it. So now we've had these flavors married together for a few minutes. Look at all these kitties in the pot. How colorful. Now they're ready for bath time. In comes the chicken stuff. And there we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Some thirsty kitties we've got here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We have all the kitties in the pot, and they've all been taking a bath. They've been soaking for a little while. We're going to bring this up to a nice, lovely simmer, probably for about 15 to 20 minutes, probably longer if you'd like your veggies a little bit more tender. But you really can't mess up cabbage soup. Come on, people. So pretty much, 
I would go about 20 minutes on these veggies. And then it would be time to ladle up a nice bowl with some crusty bread. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. And